Good afternoon, everyone. It's me, Miss Gabby. Um, I'm super excited for today. Uh, welcome to Cabot Home and Gold Detroit. Um, I'm super pumped. We're making um, some tin can wind chimes today. Um, you know, huge, huge shout out to the Community Education Commission of Detroit and General Motors, also the College for Creative Studies, because without them, this would not be possible. So let's just jump right in and get to work. Let me show you what we'll be needing today. Um, so we'll need some paint or some sp spray paint, um, you know, to paint our tin cans. Um, a paintbrush, if you have a water cup, um, some string, a nail, scissors, a hammer, um, an aluminum can, um, and just like work surfaces. And this is optional, but beads and stuff like that. So that's something that you can do. Um, so I already kind of created a theme of mine, which is like blue and yellow, and I wanted to make like a nice bright extra color, um, you know, for for the other the other color I'm going to be adding. Uh, I'm just going to be right adding right onto there. So you know, you first want to make sure you peel off all of this paper that's on your tin can, and be careful, um, but definitely keep your tin lids too, because of that. so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So I'm gonna just take my brush and start painting. So um, I really wanted to create a nice like peachy color, um, bright, really separate. Um, and like in my previous ones, um, you know, you wanna take your time um, and cause we're just gonna create layers. So that's why I kind of mixed these neon colors together um, cause I wanted to be like fun and bright. So um, for these, you might have to do a few layers uh, cause you know, you can see um, the can right away. Um, it's not really that thick, you know, it's not doing that much coverage, um, but that's okay. And this is a process, you know, just because we're using paint and we need for it to wait, to wait and dry. Um, but you can see, I'm just doing a nice layer here. And uh, like if you want to make sure you're taking off all that paper, or if maybe you even want to leave the paper, if it helps like with the thickness, you can do that too. it would be fine. So I'm just going through it. And moving on through. Yeah, so we can wait for it to dry. Put it off to the side so it's going to be dry. Putting it, be careful. Um, and like, so I, I did a few different colors of the lids. So that's, um, you know, what I, um, I really, really like this color. I'm kind of going for a summer Superman look. So, you know, I'm just doing a few layer, like a few thin layer of paint and then we're gonna let it dry. So then we can continue on to, to, the, to the next. Um, but yeah, so while we're weighing that dry, we're letting that dry, we're just gonna, um, you know, paint the rest of our tin cans that we have. You know, it's definitely like endless, like the amount that you can do, it's totally fun and fine. Um, you know, whatever you're trying to do. So, um, you know, I want to show us next, our next step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little work stuff. You want to make sure you're on something that um, is going to be helpful. And we're going to just, I'm going to show you how we're going to put some holes into things so that we can add all these parts to it. Um, and here's like, well, you'll need an adult definitely, especially, you know, just in case. Um, you know, something happens, you want to be sure that you're not going to cut yourself, especially like maybe if your corners are super sharp on your, your tin can, but, um, but I'm just going to take my nail, see here, and just put it right, you know, as close in the middle as I can, and I'm just going to lightly start to tap. I know it's loud, <laughs> but, um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and lift. So there it is. You can kind of see it, uh, get the hole punch through it. Um, and see that one's not painted, so I'm just gonna put that to the side, cause I'll paint that, but here's like this hole, you can see right through. And even for the lids, these are a little tougher, um, but you wanna definitely be doing it on something like this, um, just cause you won't get as big of a hole. Here. There you go. Next one. I like these because they're gonna add some fun sounds to my wind chime. <clears throat> so I'm still gonna push this off to the side here and just, I'll just add these two for now. So 
Um, now I'm going to take my string um, and I'll show you how I'm going to loop this in. So what I do is I'm going to take my string and you want it to make sure it's not too thick or not too thin. Um, and I'm going to feed it through the hole and be careful grabbing in just in case if um, you know your, your corners or your, your can is still pretty sharp. And I'm just going to pull it all the way through here. And what I want to do is I want to double double knot it. So I'm just going to take a little of the slack and I'm going to double make a double knot. So you can definitely be painting these any colors that you want. You can make a theme. You don't have to, um, but that's definitely up to you. So I'm just going to take a bead and I'm going to do exactly, um, you know, just to give it maybe some extra extra um, sound or something. Maybe if I want to do like a smaller one, because this one's actually kind of heavy and thick. Um, I'm gonna actually do this one. So if you have any extra little beads or anything that can add some extra sound, or if you have bells or anything of that sort, you know, that's where these can come in. It'll be so much fun to do. Um, you know, it's, um, this is like all part of the process. You can really kind of make it however you want, which is gonna be super fun, super great. So yeah, there's that. Some extra support. So I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna pull it all the way through. Here we go. So, so there that is. So now I wanna make sure that I'm gonna be adding like a good layer to my previous one. So, you know, we can think about here. That's a good one. Perfect. So I'm gonna just take my scissors. I think this is a good layer here. I'm gonna cut some extra slack so I can be able to tie it off. There we go. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna tie a knot around here and add to it. You know, and I'm gonna think about like what I want to do to, to be able to hang it. That's something that we can think about as well. Perfect. So it's coming together quite nicely, making a lot of noise. So you can basically do the same thing with this. So, um, you know, this is a little thicker thread. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna try and take it um, through the hole. There you go. Just wanna make sure it goes all the way through. And I'm just gonna double knot here. So it's gonna stay. So there, one. And two. Ooh, perfect. Um, and you know, we can really add this anywhere because this is just like an accent piece, really. Um, it can be long, short, um, and we can just do that there. So I'm going to just add it on all of these little knots. So, yeah, you can definitely you can hang it on a hook outside if you have somewhere to hang. You know, someone can help you really hang it, but, oops. Awesome. It's coming together so well. But yeah, so, you know, you can definitely let the finish, you know, your all of them to dry. We want them all to make sure. So I think this is a beautiful color that will add some extra. I really kind of want it to be a Superman themed color. You know, like the ice cream is what I was inspired by for summer to add to my garden. So, um, but yeah, like, thank you for hanging out with me today. You know, really enjoy the process of making wind chime. You know, you can add these extra beads. You know, I'm just adding them inside of my cans. Um, but if you have anything else, then you can definitely decorate the outsides of your can. Um, definitely up to you. But thanks for hanging out. I'll see you later.